So sometimes it's useful to actually compare two redstone signals. So if I have two wires coming in, uh, I want to know if they're equal and produce a signal uh, that tells me if they're equal or not. So if both of these are 1, I want this output to be a 1. And if both of these are 0, I want this output to be a 1. But if they differ in any way, I want this output to be a 0. And that'll tell me that these two redstone inputs are actually equal. Uh, and so if we actually kind of reason through that again, uh, we can take a look at the truth table. We can grab all of our instances where both A and B are equal. In this case, that's when they're both equal to 0. Uh, then the output we want it to be 1. And if they're both in equal to 1, then we want the output to be a 1. And all other instances, we want them to be equal to 0. So this is kind of a funky truth table. Uh, not really something that you see too often, but there is something that you do see quite a bit. And let me just show you something here. If I were to create another row here, call it not Q, and not Q is just the inverse of Q, uh, then we can basically just fill that out as the inverse of wrong color. Uh, we can fill that out as the inverse of Q. So if it's a 1, it's a 0. If it's a 0, it's a 1. And now this should start to look a little bit more familiar. Uh, this is actually, uh, if you were to actually look at it uh, with an A, B, and not Q, we actually have the truth table for an exclusive OR gate. So an exclusive OR gate, you'll find out later on, is actually also known as the not equal operator. And this actually checks to see if two inputs are not equal. Uh, as you can see, A and B are not equal here, and A and B are not equal here. So the output is a 1, but they're equal here and here, so the output is a 0. So this logic gate already checks to see if the inputs are kind of not equal. Uh, so to check to see if they're equal, well, that's not not equal, and the two nots cancel out. So uh, that just makes for equal. But as far as the logic gate's concerned, to get Q, we would want to get the opposite of not Q, which would be just inverting the output like that. And so this is what's referred to as an exclusive NOR, and the truth table for the exclusive NOR is just this. And this just so happens to be the gate that we can use to actually compare two redstone signals like this. So what if we have groups of wires here? How do we compare those? Well, what we want is we want a comparator that can actually take the group of wires, compare them to each other, and, and tell us if wire per wire, the two inputs match. So if this input was 1010, and this input was 1010, we would want this comparator to output a 1 to let us know that they are equal. Uh, but if these things change even on, or if these things differ even on a single bit level, say if this was 1011, then we would want this to output a 0 to let us know that they are not equal. So how do we do something like this? Well, the easiest way to do that is actually just to use the, uh, the exclusive NOR gate again. So uh, we can use an exclusive NOR to compare one group of wires, or one pair of wires. So if you can imagine this as being input A, and this as being input B, and then we have groups of wires, let's just say that there's there's four. Uh, we would label the first wire A0, second one A1, third one A2, fourth one A3. Uh, likewise with the other side, there would be B0, B1, B2, and B3. So we could take one digital comparator or uh, an exclusive NOR, and we could tie them to A0 and B0. And so that would tell us if A0 is equal to B0. We could then have another exclusive NOR and that would be tied to A1 and B1 and that would tell us if A1 and B1 are equal. And of course, we could have the same thing happen with A2 and B2 and A3 and B3. Now, to actually tell if all of these are equal, what we want is we'd want a, the signal to be produced if this exclusive NOR is telling us that A0 and B0 are equal. And we would want to know that this exclusive NOR is telling us that A1 and B1 are equal, and same with the next one, and same with the next one. So basically what we want is we want uh, the signal to be true if all of these individual bitwise 
comparators are equal. And so the easiest way to do that is if this line is on when these are equal, this line is on when these are equal, so we want all of these lines to be on in order for the output to be on. Well, that's just an AND gate. So we make an AND gate and we tie our comparators up to this. And now this output will only be on when A0 is equal to B0, A1 is equal to B1, uh, A2 equal to B2, and so on and so forth. Only when all of those bits are equal will the output be equal. Now this is a great way to detect uh, if pairs of or if groups of wires are equal to other groups of wires. They do not tell you if a group of wire is greater than another group of wire, nor do they tell you if a group of wire is less than another group of wires. And so to, to get into that, we're going to have to get into some more complicated uh, redstone and uh, digital logic circuitry. Uh, and it actually requires a little bit of understanding of binary numbers and how they work as well as binary arithmetic. So this is not something we're going to cover just yet. I'm going to hold off on that until we cover those topics.